Deputy Leader, Simon Hughes, joins us now from Westminster. Mr Hughes, thank you very much indeed for joining us here on Afternoon Live. Um, do you support this? Um, let me just deal with well, one thing before I answer your question directly. Uh, the worst people to criticise us are Labour, uh, because uh, they went to elections saying they wouldn't have fees and then they introduced them. And then they said there wouldn't be top-up fees and they introduced them too. So uh, I'll take lots of lessons from lots of people. I'll answer your questions. Uh, but lessons from the Labour Party are about the most difficult because they have zero credibility and they don't have a policy. So on the substance, the, today's announcement is clearly better than the Brown report. It's been improved. Uh, there will now have to be an evaluation by all of our colleagues uh, outside government of what they think about the policies. And before we make a decision in Parliament on whether we support, and that includes me, whether we support this policy, we have to make the hard judgment. Will it do for my constituents in South London uh, a better deal? Will it make sure children from poorer families, less, dis less advantaged backgrounds, have a better chance not just of going to university, but of coming out with qualifications at the other end and not being put off? And that's the test. And uh, the next few weeks will tell the answer to that. But weren't you elected on a ticket that said that you were against any rise in fees? We were elected, uh, all the Liberal Democrats stood on a platform of uh, wanting to phase out tuition fees over six years. That's what our manifesto said. Uh, we didn't win the election, no party won the election. There was then a coalition agreement, as you well know, and that said we judge the Brown report proposals when they came out, and we didn't set up Lord Brown's report, Labour set that up, supported by the Conservatives. Uh, we judged them on six tests, uh, better access, better security for universities and so on and that if people uh, didn't want to support it, they'd be allowed to abstain. So, by definition, no manifesto in opposition can be delivered entirely in government if you don't form the government on your own. If we had formed the government on our own, uh, we would have been expected to deliver that commitment, of course. So if you had formed a government, there wouldn't have been any rise in tuition fees, and you would have abolished them in the fullness of time? Well, over six years, really, that was the commitment. Now, n nobody has hidden from anybody the huge challenge of the public economics of the deficit. We talk about it, colleagues and I of all parties on your television channel every day. But the real question for now, and it is a serious question, we have about four in ten people coming out of school, going on to university. The real question is how we make sure that part-time students, and they're often working class students, get a, as good a deal as full-time students. This deal does that because they won't have to pay any upfront fees. That interview uh, just happened about five seconds ago with um, Simon Hughes, as you saw, the deputy leader of the Liberal Democrats. Basically, <clears throat> he's saying because there's a coalition government, he therefore has a responsibility to put up tuition fees due to the Brown Report. A report carried out by a small group of people that says tuition fees should be raised in the aim of A, fixing the deficit, and B, trying to get a better deal for universities. I really don't see how this gets a better deal for universities. They're still in public control, still having to answer to the government, still held accountable to government, and they're getting more money out of it. I don't really see how this works. Um, and he was saying that how he, would, one second, supports scrapping tuition fees over a six-year period, then raising them. This doesn't really make any sense. So, yeah.